Al, these latest fires only remind us of how serious a problem arson fires are and where many of these fires are started. Hartford has more than its share of abandoned buildings, buildings that are often targets for arson. Some buildings have been torn down, but there are still plenty more. I mean, anybody can get in here. They just have to come, come in with a crowbar and just pry it open. Wooden boards do not keep people out of abandoned buildings. There have been a few fires at this vacant apartment house on Hamilton Street. Jackie Fonjami and others who live in the city's Frog Hollow section have been trying to get the city to tear these buildings down. We're told that there's not enough money, that they're looking into it. There's so many roadblocks. Residents have had some success. In April, a haven for drugs was finally torn down. A vacant building on Zion Street was demolished in an effort to clean up the neighborhood. In the meantime, buildings continue to burn. Today, this abandoned house on May Street became the latest suspicious blaze. Two firefighters were injured. Should have been boarded up, but it's a pity, you know. You have so many of these empty buildings that could be made over again for people to live in, and they just let them go to waste, and this is what happens. Those who live near abandoned buildings fear someday the flames will spread. Many city residents in Frog Hollow have already been forced out of their homes because of fires. People like Jackie Fonjami say the city needs to do more. People talk about, uh, you know, that people don't care in Hartford, but there's some of us that we do, and we're trying like hell to get those knocked down. Now, in addition to tearing a few buildings down, the city has ordered landlords to secure their buildings with locks and plywood. But residents feel this is only a band-aid. And unless the city demolishes vacant buildings, more will burn and more people will be left homeless. Al, back to you.